hello welcome to free games for new visitors thank you so much for visiting my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe before you leave for the older subscribers thank you so much for keeping up with me here is another match prediction or you can call it a gameplay of the upcoming match of this week so guys for more match prediction or gameplays subscribe to this youtube channel stay tuned have fun watching thank you so much Thanks Derek, yeah really looking forward to both teams producing entertaining football, let's see if we get that. A special talent and he's been doing it for a long time now you've got to say, Sergio Aguero. Well he's got amazing finishing ability and when a player's got that it means you have to go that extra yard tighter. And when you do that you leave space behind you so it puts the defender in two minds. And number seven. And so the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson, the Brazilian, between the posts. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Rodri in central midfield. And leading the line is Sergio Aguero. the lineup for Chelsea. Kepa is given the green light in goal as Billy Quetta starts with Emerson in the fullback positions. N'Golo Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield and the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Well, you think back to last season's title race and you think back to some of the key moments. City's win over Liverpool in January, so important in the grand scheme of things, Lee. Well, it was. I remember people talking about it being a title decider on the 3rd of January. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but as it happens, pivotal moment in City winning the title, you have to say, in hindsight, absolutely. This should be one to savour. Manchester City get the contest underway. Rodri... De Bruyne. The ball with Rodri. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Jorginho. Tammy Abraham. Conte. Conte. Abraham. Chelsea finding forward gears. Can they take advantage of this promising position? Conte now. Jorginho. Well, his opponent bamboozled. Oh, they've lost it. He's protecting it well. He's got space. Opportunity to deliver the cross. He might be able to carve something out. And putting his body on the line. Taken by David Silva. Just over the crossbar with that header. Oh, it's a perfect cross. It's a perfect position. And he just gets underneath it over the bar. And now Kevin De Bruyne. Rodri. De Bruyne. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Mastery of the passing game. It's with David Silva. Read it superbly to take back possession. A bit of running room now on the wing. He's holding the ball up here. Effect. And the referee has pointed to the spot. A penalty it is, and a chance for them to forge ahead. Well, that could be his final rebuke, I think, and the referee's making that absolutely clear. So I like that, Derek. Good refereeing. Nice and strong. Told the player exactly what he was thinking. Well, with all 
been there. I don't know if you have, Derek, but I have. And he's missed. And it's a terrible, terrible chance to let go. There's a good reason why I haven't been there, Lee. <laughs> Now Zinchenko, David Silva, Alexander Zinchenko, well great read there to intercept, it's really opening up positively for Chelsea, excellent use of advantage from the referee in City's favour, and given away. Chelsea happy to pass the ball around and get it forward. Bernardo Silva. Walker. A City free kick forthcoming. Very good use of advantage there by the official, letting the play carry on and then only subsequently handing out the yellow card. Yeah, absolutely, and that's what the fans want. They want to see the game going on. They don't want to see it stopped or something like that. You can always go back and book the player later. De Bruyne. He has teammates to play it to. Sterling has it. Now Zinchenko, De Bruyne, that's the kind of shielding play you expect from him, it comes to nothing, Jorginho, Conte, this is Aspini Quetta, and providing width, N'Golo Conte, Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Extremely sloppy in possession. Well, City controlling the lion's share of possession, but that doesn't lead to goals necessarily. They haven't created enough. Too slow up front, midfield, very average. The coach, he's not happy at all. He wants more from this team. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. Bernardo Silva... Strength and control, a big part of his game. Walker now. Well, he was just a fraction offside then. That's all he needs to be, a fraction. And it was so close. Now well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. It's been passed up there in the general direction of Willian. In position here to protect the ball. Conte. And back might be able to set up the chance. And Chelsea have come up with a goal. Well, they've crumbled. The defence crumbled in front of their eyes. Well, it's good build-up. And there's one player standing in front of the goal. And it falls to him. And he's not going to miss from there. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, the manager's showing signs of frustration. They need to improve if they're going to get something out of this game, Derek. So, underway once again. Chelsea with the lead in this match. It's with David Silva. Thinking defensively, Aspili Quetta. Aspili Quetta. Conte. Sergio Aguero has it. Incision with the pass 
from Kevin De Bruyne. Sterling, and will it be the leveller? Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. Conte. Here is William. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Now he must favour the cross. Well, not a cross that will live long in the memory. Goal kick. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. It's with David Silva. De Bruyne. Rodri. City know that wide area is really opening up. Bernardo Silva. Well, City controlling possession. But after that, it's been really disappointing. Players are looking at each other. You've got to take control. You've got to take responsibility yourself. Make something happen in this game. On the ball, Emerson. Jorginho and now William coming into it that's Pili Quetta crisp tackling Otamendi Walker Rodri well great read there to intercept that's right the ball Emerson and that's an important intervention the clock is ticking for Manchester City the crowd are anxious they're expecting can the players deliver it's with David Silva in the second half trailing albeit by a small margin how should they be viewing this task Lee it's got to be and it's in for Manchester City a man who delivers time and again in front of goal delivered here well as you see from the replay the keeper's got no chance it's all about the strike all about the power he does everything right head down back of the net let's have another view of that goal A level contest, 1-1. One, one. For Manchester City, number 10, Sergio Aguero. Only 10 minutes remaining here. Here's Pedro. Pedro might be able to get in behind the defence. And Goro Conte in the middle. A very effective clearance. We're not too long left in this game now. City pushing for a winner. The fans are desperate almost. Bernardo Silva. De Bruyne. Rodri. It's with David Silva. The ball with Rodri. Very comfortable when in possession. De Bruyne now. Rodri. David Silva. And just the one minute left in normal time here. There will be a and three minutes will be added on for stoppages. It's with Mendy. It's with David Silva. Now Mendy. There's a thorough understanding of defense. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time.
wil ik natuurlijk deze ploegen een luid applaus geven.